Welcome to Catholic Views. I'm your host, Renee Kranz. On today's show, we get a full dose of Dr. Chris Bergwald. Uh, he is, of course, going to be here for Biblical Bites with Dr. B. And then we will have him uh, for the interview portion as well to talk about the apostolate. What is it and why in the world should we care? And we really should care. <laughs> so, <laughs> but why? why? But why? Uh, he will tell us both what it is, why we should care, how we do it, all of those kind of things. It is actually part of our call as a Christian from Jesus. So stick around for that. So first, we're going to do some Biblical Bites with Dr. B. So, Renee, what, what, what Sunday is this again? <laughs> I know you because you hmm. stole my yeah I stole emotional. I stole his books so I went look stupid today, um, <laughs> and then you know, then I tell everybody then, it is yeah. the fifteenth Sunday yep, in ordinary time. So uh, again, as folks might be aware of, um, we have a three year cycle for the Sunday readings, mm-hmm. and we're in the second year B of that cycle. So Mark is the focus, and I remember. <clears throat> Three years ago, when we talked about uh, we, we talked about the first reading, are we coming around full circle? To oh, the we've been full we're, third more year? than more than that. We we're uh, we've been doing biblical bites for even longer than three years. But um, the first reading, I'll read it kind of quickly. Okay. So if you're watching on repeat, you might want to slow it down. <laughs> Amaziah, this is a reading for the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos. Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock, and he said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. So I remember as I was reviewing for today, oh yeah, we talked about what it means to be a dresser of sycamores, <laughs> I was right? Say, I hope you're not Bill going Seeley there. Bill yes. was, yep, the <laughs> he man was like, huh? in control. Like, <laughs> and that was the highlight. So uh, just real quickly, because I want to get, actually get to the gospel. Um, so this is after the division of Judah, or of, of, of Israel, the kingdom of Israel into two separate kingdoms. Judah is in the south, or Jerusalem in the surrounding area, and the kingdom of Israel is just the northern ten tribes. And Amos, hey, I'm just a shepherd, a dresser of sycamores, but the Lord called me, and he's in the north, to go, uh, and Amaziah, who's sort of the priest in charge in the northern kingdom's um, uh, city of Bethel, he's like, Qu- quit prophesying. You know, so it's the whole thing about not... People not wanting to hear what the Lord has to tell them. The gospel, though, is always thematically connected. So this is where the last several Sundays, because I touched on this recently in the last few episodes, um, we've been seeing Jesus working signs and wonders, um, curing people, healing people, calming storms, and so on. Well, now, so the connection here to Amos, now Jesus gives that same authority to his apostles. So this is the reason, the reading, it starts this way. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. Um, and skipping to the end. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Mm-hmm. So just as Amos was chosen by God, a normal guy uh, who was just a shepherd and a dresser of, sy- dresser of sycamores was sent out. So too are the apostles this, chosen by God. This is going to go this right. Is, uh, there's some thematic connection <laughs> Between this our, week. Yes, it's exactly. Great. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> Ordinary guys, Amos, Old Testament prophet, the 12 apostles of Jesus' time that he chose from his disciples are sent. And yes, they do. They preach repentance. Okay, but they don't just teach. Right. Jesus of Nazareth has this to say to all of you. They do do that, presumably, but they frame it as repentance, which is good news. Repent of your sins and they can be forgiven. But it's not just talking at people, preaching at people. They drove out many demons. They anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Again, there's power that goes with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we, as missionary disciples, are called to do the same. Be open to the Lord doing whatever he wants through us. Preaching, but maybe also casting out evil and healing the sick according to his plan. All right, so on that note, on to an apostolate. Amen. Thanks, Dr. B. You bet. <laughs>